Hi everybody, uh, Mateen here. Um, today I'd like to talk to you about the four, if I can count, the four most important gauges that you have in a car. First thing, uh, the water temperature gauge. Uh, the water um, engines are controlled explosions and they get very hot and metal in them gets very hot and can warp. So in order to keep that from happening, it has water. Uh, the water has to run in a particular temperature range for the car to be most efficient um, and also to protect the engine itself. So when you go past that part, uh, things can break and it can be very expensive. Um, the number one thing that breaks when, the, when a car overheats is the uh, head gasket, blow head gasket. Um, and, that doesn't, and when you blow a head gasket, that doesn't mean that the car is very mad. Uh, it just means that something probably either stopped working and stopped functioning properly. You should pull over, let it cool off, take a look at it. Um, and don't ever run the car in the hot for a long time. That's just guaranteed you're going to have costly repairs. Even if you have to get to your destination, call whoever it is, your boss, your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, your ex-boss, uh, whoever it is. Um, your ex-boss's ex-girlfriend's boss, um, you know, call them, let them know you're going to be late. Just take your time, let it cool off, save a lot of money, get the car fixed the right way, it'll last you a lot longer, preventative maintenance. Um, now, let's see here, the next most important gauge um, is going to be your oil pressure gauge. I understand not all cars have this, um, and the oil pressure uh, is similar to the oil light that I may have mentioned. Uh, or, uh, that I'm going to mention either in another video or I have mentioned already. Um, now the oil pressure gauge <clears throat> is um, the, life, the pressure of the lifeblood of the car. So it's like your, uh, your uh, blood pressure, um, similar, a similar analogy. Um, you don't want to have no blood pressure because then you'll probably be dead. But similar with the car. If you have low oil pressure, the car is probably going to die. Um, you're probably going to need a new engine. Um, so if you're lucky, you see it drop down, uh, it could be a faulty sensor. So just, if you see it drop down, shut the car off as quickly as you can, coast to the side of the road, uh, check the oil, um, make sure you actually have oil. Cause that could be a, it could be as simple as just needing to put oil in it. Um, but most likely it's probably something big, a little bit bigger than that. Um, so if you see the oil pressure drop, <clears throat> definitely get it checked out immediately. Uh, to try to save yourself some costly repairs. Next thing I want to mention is the transmission temperature gauge. Um, the transmission temperature gauge, and this is, um, not a lot of cars have this, and I'm only really saying this because my car has this, and this is important because uh, when you do towing, um, they say that for every 20 degrees warmer that your transmission runs, it, it cuts the life in half. So you want to keep that transmission as cool as can be. Uh, in order to allow you to last, to, in order to allow it to last for a long time, so definitely keep an eye on that temperature. Sometimes it's maybe a light too. Um, so if, you know, if you're having transmission, if it's running too hot, pull over to the side, make sure it runs cool. Uh, it's easy to, it's like one of the easiest things to add a uh, transmission cooler. Um, so definitely, if you need to do that, add a transmission cooler if you see that that transmission temperature is getting too hot. Um, but this is really particular to towing. It's really a big thing when you see it towing. Some cars uh, don't have, you know, don't cool well enough and have shorter transmission life. So you could also do some research and maybe even on even just your regular car, you can take advantage of uh, just doing a simple upgrade and increasing the life of uh, the transmission. Uh, the next thing I'm going to say, and this is probably the simplest, most common thing, is obviously your gas gauge. Um, that gas your car doesn't run I've read out of gas multiple times it's very embarrassing um, and um, you know you just want to keep an eye it's very important and I'm just mentioning it because um, for some reason all the gas stuff in my videos uh, want to be a part of the video too for some reason so I'm just saying gas gauge also very important so um, I think that's it for that uh, let me know if there's any other important gauges that you have in your car. Um, I also do want to mention another gauge uh, is, this is really for racing or if you actually drop push your car really hard. Um, 
the water, uh, sorry, the, uh, the oil temperature gauge. The oil temperature gauge, uh, oil should run around 200, uh, 220 um, Fahrenheit to about 260 when it starts to break down Fahrenheit. Um, if you're racing, that can get hot. If it can get that to 260 pretty quickly uh, and start to break down, you could have potential uh, oil failure as it doesn't lubricate the motor properly and you could have big issues. So the oil temperature uh, for racing in particular is very important. Um, so that's a very important gauge to keep an eye on, out on. Um, and also, if your car doesn't have one, you might want to, and you do decide to race, you may want to consider putting one on. Some cars have factory ones, um, so they're just naturally better at that. So, um, but that's all for me. Uh, let me know if your car has any, uh, also any important gauges, uh, and uh, let me know if you know there's some something that I don't know about or something that I missed. Uh, feel free to, you know, like and subscribe. And thank you for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.